has been married. 20 years. 20, <laughs> 20 years. Yeah. 20 happy years. Absolutely. 20 happy years. Every yes. day, right? Yeah. Every day. Every day, that's great. <laughs> As she says every day, it's every day. It's every day. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I understand that. So, Omar, you've been on the show before. Yes, sir, with my dad. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Omar is no stranger to this show. How's the tournament going? Tournament went well. We had it at Jesse Davis Park um, uh, April 28th. We had eight basketball, eight elementary school teams, six middle and six high school, so almost 100 kids. Awesome. So it was a great turnout. That's great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. But today, we're talking about something completely different. We've got your lovely wife on. Introduce yourself. I am Diane Daniel, um, owner of Enjoy Life Cleaning Services and partner with Cleaning for a Reason. And what is that reason? Cleaning for a Reason, um, it's actually an amazing reason. It's, um, we sponsor families in the community that are going through cancer treatment. Uh, we sponsor two families a month and okay. we provide free maid services to them. That is awesome. So yeah. you're not only a for-profit business, Absolutely. but you're also giving back to the community. Yes, in that partnership awesome. with Cleaning for a Reason, which is a national organization. Okay. And we've actually provided over 30,000 free cleanings wow. nationwide. So it's pretty awesome. That is really cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, but we're going to talk more about that in just a little bit if, mm -hmm. you've, if you've watched this show. And I bet you have. I bet you've seen your <laughs> husband on before. Uh, you know that, that you don't know what you're cooking yet. You have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, boy. So we have them cloaked in the beach towel of deception, as we call it. Uh, and I'm going to show you what the ingredients are and give you a chance to see if you can guess. Okay. what we are cooking and we actually thought back you did a great job yeah you and your dad did we a great kinda, job guessing yeah what did. and what so we'll see if you do as well <laughs> all right here we the go the pressure is on oh wow Ooh, gummies a lot of ingredients lot, this is all for one meal this is uh one meal two dishes two dishes wow okay. so we have uh turkey beef Rice, Oreo cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and Those are all part of one recipe. Sour gummies. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Wow. Hmm. These are a lot of ingredients here. May have Omar stumped. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna have some kind of. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, you got me good this time. Sorry. I knew I had to do well. Uh, you know. So I knew they I had play to. off of our name, Enjoy Life. <laughs> okay. Hmm. We have garlic. Okay, so what do you do? What, what is your we, business? It's cleaning service. Cleaning. Cleaning. What's the opposite of cleaning? Dirty rice. Dirty, Dirty rice. rice. <laughs> oh, okay. Dirty rice. And then there is a dessert. Okay. Uh, They're called dirt cups. Dirt cups. Okay. Dirty rice and dirt yes. cups. Dirty yes. rice and dirt <laughs> cups, because you know you're a cleaning service. So we're gonna come in awesome. and clean up. We're gonna get dirty today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love it. I love it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the dessert first because we're gonna have to get it into the freezer to let it cool off. Okay. Uh, and then we'll come back and we'll do the dirty rice. A lot of people don't know this. Dirty rice is a meal in itself. So yes. there's a lot of ingredients. We're gonna make the seasoning from scratch. Okay. So we're gonna start that here in just a second. We're gonna get reset, we're gonna come back, we're gonna learn about these guys, and we're gonna get dirty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who is the most stressed between the two of you? Her, okay. So your job, <laughs> we have to crumble these Oreos and you know, you can put them in a food processor, but that's no fun. No fun no. at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in this bag and then smash them up oh, okay. yes, with the rolling pin. So that's great. I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you started on that. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now the other thing that we have to do is we have to make instant chocolate pudding, which is both of these packages and four cups of milk. Okay. So I am going to start doing that over here in the mixer. And this is instant jello. We don't have to cook it. 
So this is called dirt cups? This is dirt cups. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are many ways to put this together, but they're all, the, the ingredients are, are basically the same. You're, you're using some kind of pudding, uh, Cool Whip, sometimes cream cheese, sometimes butter. I chose the one that had both. Oh, so, nice. you know, yes. can't go wrong with cream cheese and butter. Mm -mm. And then you have typically the Oreo cookies smashed up as the soil looking stuff. Okay. And you can do them in layers, like a little bit of the pudding mixture and then cookies and pudding cookies. You can do it in a big bowl. Mm -hmm. For my son's birthday, second birthday, I think, we bought a plastic dump truck and put it in the back of the dump truck. Oh, how so cool. it looked like a big load of dirt. <laughs> All right, you're fixing to make some noise. I am, are you ready? Let's do this. Okay. Oh, boy. The dogs are very freaked out right now. Yes. This is the fun part. And while she's doing that, Omar, if you'll hand me the milk and the, uh, measuring cup there, the glass one. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, pudding going. <laughs> you thought you weren't gonna work today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm even getting a workout here, I yeah. love it. Yeah, this is the fun part. We're doing four cups of milk over here. Would you like me to do all of the Oreos? Sure. Okay. Some extra oh. stress relief. <laughs> no stress. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we're making pudding. I'll try not to splash any. Too late for that. Too late. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right. Smash away. Smash away. All right. And you're getting to have all the fun. I know. <laughs> for this to solidify a little bit um, and I'll whip it up a little more in a minute. Okay. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the history of your actual cleaning service, how long you guys been doing it and then kind of how you got involved with the, the charity. Okay, um, well we launched, we've been in the industry since 2006 and serving in the Douglasville community. So we're blessed and privileged to serve and we're really excited about the work that we do. The reason for cleaning for a reason and getting involved with them is that my mother is actually a cancer survivor. Okay. And so when I was five and my brother was three months old, she was diagnosed with cancer and within just a few weeks had to make a decision and she became an amputee. Oh, wow. So at that time, the whole community came together to assist us, right? Mm -hmm. So preparing meals, caring for myself and my brother. And so mm -hmm. that was an amazing time as I reflect on it now as an yeah. adult. And so cleaning for a reason, you know, the nonprofit and what they do is basically assisting families when mm -hmm. they're going through those trials. So it was close to my heart 
And, you know, my husband and I talked about it and we wanted to really invest and so into other people's lives when they're going right. through cancer. Right. Yeah. And my grandmother, she passed of cancer, stomach cancer, and she um, basically tried to do it on her own. Mm -hmm. And so we, that's not a good thing. It mm -hmm. wasn't a good thing. Um, and so we found something where we can help others right. because it's important. Diane saw the importance of the community coming together to help her mm -hmm. mom. And so I talked to her about the importance of having help because right. my grandmother was, a, she was just a strong woman and she decided to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and we wanted to give back to our community um, and do, do something that we, we had a passion for. And so right. So you got, got to together. see how the community helping you was beneficial, and you got to see where it was actually needed, mm -hmm. but there, it just didn't happen. So right. you guys know that there is a need, mm -hmm. and you're Absolutely. stepping up to, to fill it. Yes. That's great. Yeah. That is awesome. Well, we're going to finish this, uh, this recipe up. Looks like our pudding is coming together nicely. And what I'm going to do is transfer this over to uh, another bowl. Okay and I'm gonna put it in the freezer, get it nice and cold. The colder you get this, the better it is. All right. And the colder it gets, the thicker it will get. So if you'll hand me that bowl right there, I'm gonna pour this in here. Love some, some pudding. And what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to cream together some, some butter and some cream cheese and mm. some powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'll add everything together. We'll get to do some folding. It's like laundry service. We'll get to do some folding. We offered that also. So awesome. it's <laughs> right in alignment. Yeah, we just po we had a nice post on Facebook this morning about laundry. <laughs> about doing laundry? Yes. Was... I think it was to the effect it takes, laundry takes about 30 minutes to wash, 60 minutes to dry, and 7 to 10 days to fold. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I, you know, if that's one thing I hear is that people really hate to fold laundry oh, yeah. and put it away, yeah. even when it's already folded, you mm -hmm. know, it just kind of yeah. sits in a, yeah. in a so it's, in, it's in your chair in your in your in your bedroom or yep. on the living room couch or you yep. know, <laughs> that's exactly you pick your right. Shoes. Yep. And if you will take the Oreo crumbles mm -hmm. and just put them in this bowl, sure. that'll prepare us for uh, putting everything together later. And half a stick of butter is what this calls for. I'm going to take the whisk off. And this attachment works a lot better for creaming the, uh, the butter. Go ahead and turn that on, get it going a little bit. Oh, look at you. Nice and neat. See, <laughs> we got good help in the kitchen. And you see, we've got three spoons over there. We're each going to be putting these together once all the ingredients are ready. Okay. okay. All right, butter is looking good. And we need the cream cheese. We're going to do the whole package. This is uh, room temperature essentially softened. Okay. The butter was softened as well. It's a lot easier to work with it when it's like that. <clears throat> so you've you've become a good cook in the kitchen since all these shows that you've been doing. I, I out of necessity I started cooking because I was living on my own for a period of time and I figured, you know, you can only eat out so much, you can only eat spaghetti so much. <laughs> so I did learn some stuff right away. Mm -hmm. uh, and then shortly after that, we started the cooking show and I just absorbed a lot of it. I started, I started watching Food Network, not necessarily just because of the cooking show, but 
I was generally interested in, in cooking. And uh, what I learned, the, the best, if you want to learn how to cook, Good Eats. Yes. The show Good Eats. Yes. Because it will teach you the science behind it. So you can learn those concepts and apply it to different things. You're not just learning how to make a recipe. Mm -hmm. You're learning how to work with a product mm -hmm. or add products together to make things. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just went from there. I do most of the cooking here at the house. I, I love to cook. That's awesome. All right, so that is creamed together. Uh, we're gonna add some powdered sugar. We're gonna do a cup of okay. powdered sugar and we can put that in here. We're really close to having this recipe done. I mean, this is not that hard. We've been doing a lot of talking, mm -hmm. so. Let's scrape this down a little bit. You ready? We're gonna have to work out tonight. Good <laughs> dirty rice. Yeah, this is uh, sugar. Not the healthiest thing in the world, but you can treat yourself every once in a while. Mm -hmm. This is true. All right, I'm gonna put this down here, turn it on, and if you want, you can just slowly pour that in there. Good. Yes. If you're not making a mess, you're not making a dessert. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. We are ready to uh, put the main stuff together. Scrape this off of here. We want to get all of this all into the good bowl. Stuff. Yes. All right. Now, I'm going to get some of this out of the way. Okay. We have definitely made a mess here. And I say we. Uh -huh. I'm including y'all. We all definitely, yes, made, definitely mess. made a mess. If I'd have been by myself, it would be a lot cleaner, cleaner. I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so if you want, scrape mm -hmm. that into here. Okay. And then we will fold it together. If you mix too hard, you kind of take the air out of it and it settles down and it, it's not as light and fluffy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it calls to uh, fold everything together. And then we will also, Omar, if you want to grab the uh, Cool Whip. Okay. We can uh, open that up if you need a pair of scissors, there you go. We will also fold that in. I'll go ahead and put the milk away. We're done with that. Okay, there we go. Yes. Excuse mm -hmm. me. All right, so I'll incorporate this first. So the cream cheese and butter is a little thicker Got a little more viscosity to it than the uh, Cool Whip, so we'll get the pudding and the butter and sugar and uh, cream cheese all put together. Take the lumps out. You don't have to be as careful with this part of it as far as the folding goes. Okay. All right, so um, we can use one of the, well, let's use this. There okay. you go. You can put that in here. There we go. Yes, every bit. And then we'll just turn this over. Mm, that looks good. Yes. <laughs> There's the mud. <laughs> Does this make you want to clean it up <laughs> with a spoon? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> All right. And I'm going to leave it a little swirly like that. Okay. Looks good. 
gives it gives it some texture. Yeah. Okay. So what we'll do is we've got a community bowl here. Okay. We have a community bowl here, mm -hmm. and we'll do some cups. Again, you can put this in a big bowl. You can put it in small bowls. Okay. You can put it in uh, these cups. Well, I don't know why I'm Got just it. giving you one. I'll give Omar the, the most cups. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I appreciate that. We'll put him to work. There we go. That's probably Sorry. about even. All right. So, spoonful okay. of this. And you can do it however you want. Um, okay. You can do a layer and, and a layer if you want, or um, you can do uh, just a lot of pudding and then those on top, so however right. you feel like doing it. We're making a mess. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is totally against <laughs> my wiring here. <laughs> This is a clean up. This is, yeah, this is uh, <laughs> see, that's a good strategy for you. It's, it's we therapy. We to clean your kitchen, see? You get a free cleaning. Mm -hmm. I picked the, the messiest recipes for when you guys are here. Mm. See if I can reach this. Can I do it? Oh, boy. Mm. How did I get that there, anyway? All sorts of strategies going on here, I see. Mm, too funny. All right, I have one more. You got it? Oh, TJ, I see that you were more focused on eating than, <laughs> I know, yeah. than putting in, shoveling I'm, I'm in the dirt. <laughs> I've even, my spoon is no good because I've been licking it. <laughs> so I'm going to borrow one of your spoons. Okay. Now we're not going to add the gummy worms. You can, you know, okay. just to add to the to make the it look the look of it yeah. right like it's soil and dirt uh, we're not going to add the gummy worms until they come out of the freezer we don't okay. want them to get real cold mm, okay. they'll be a little tough we want them uh, easier to chew so i'm finishing my last couple right here uh, i will get a tray okay. to put these on and uh, we'll get these into the freezer. We'll leave them in there until we're done with our other recipe. Okay. And we'll pull everything out at the same time and we'll be eating good. So coming up next, we've got our dirty rice, which is a meal in itself. One of the things I always like to do if I can, is make my own seasonings. Because I have tons of spices, so might as well put it together myself. You can buy, you know, taco seasoning cheap, you can buy uh, meatloaf seasoning or whatever it is in the store, it's cheap, but mm -hmm. you only get one package, you know, one serving. So why not make a, a whole lot of it at one time and okay. then you don't have to buy it and you have it sitting in your cabinet waiting for you. Because a lot of seasonings will last a very long time. Dirty rice calls for Cajun seasoning. Okay. We're going to make our own Cajun seasoning. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So what we'll do is I'm going to hold the bag because I like to put them in plastic bags so you can seal them, keep them fresh. Okay. But it's also easy to mix them up. You just shake it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to read out what we need and you guys can pour it into here. Uh, We're going to start with one and a half teaspoons of onion powder. So your first task is to find the onion powder. Because <laughs> there are a lot of seasonings that go in this. And you can pull this top off right there. Makes it a little easier to get into. And this is a half teaspoon. So one okay. and a half. One and a half, yep. And we don't have to be absolutely perfect on everything. These are just general guidelines to make sure you're not putting in six cups of one seasoning. <laughs> instead of a teaspoon. All right, there you go. Awesome. And uh, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll quadruple or octuple. Is that even a word? <laughs> eight, oh. eight yeah. times the recipe or yes. what, you know, that's, I just made that up. Uh, so that you just make a lot of it at once. 
Okay. Um, I guess I should be reading it. One and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. Okay. Y'all are way ahead of me. <laughs> Since the 20 years that we have under our belt. Yeah, y'all are like a, a yeah, well-oiled machine. <laughs> yes. We've got seasoning salt. Salt, that's the tall red one right there. Okay. We're going to do one tablespoon. So that's a decent amount. Which one? Lowry's? Right mm -hmm. Some Lowry's. All right. right, and then a table, is that a tablespoon or a teaspoon? Tablespoon. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Oh, there's our tablespoon. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Mm -hmm. So this, we need I to need add another, another, another teaspoon to that Oops. so we can get, so we get a decent amount of that. Let's get this right. Yeah, that's the Lowry's right there. That's it's, we it's can't little, mess up on and that. And it's a little hard okay. to, to get the tablespoon into some of these containers. Got it. Okay. Uh, we also need a tablespoon of paprika. That one's got the nice... Uh, this one in the middle. You have so many choices with those containers. Well, you're not gonna, I don't think you're I can get this yeah, in. No, no, that's not going to work. Yeah, we can just do a couple or I three of those. I that's going to work. A couple or three? Yeah. I like some paprika. Um, and we need a teaspoon, so we can go back down. Well, you were using the teaspoon there. A teaspoon of ground black pepper. Omar's got it ready. There we go. The next one's gonna be a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Um, if we don't want it too hot, we can... Uh, uh, got it. You threw it over to me. <laughs> We can so do a cayenne. Yeah, how much? just depending on how spicy you want it, you can use a, Let's a spice it more up. or less. Okay. So one teaspoon is what it's calling for. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm a spicy guy. Loves, yeah, there loves we go. Hot sauces and stuff. Uh, Helen, Georgia. Go. They, have a, good they, have a, they have a hot sauce shop. Nice. Yeah. Oregano. A teaspoon of oregano. Where is the oregano? Perfect. And then a teaspoon of thyme, which is this one. Okay. Which we give back to our clients. Right, thyme. exactly. That's mm -hmm. the key ingredient here, <laughs> thyme. Time. We would also like to use some effort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if we could add a teaspoon of effort. <laughs> Absolutely. And love. Oh yes. It's always about the love. And then uh, the last thing, a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And our seasoning is done. So, Bam. seal this up, shake it up. And then what I do, if I had any left over, I just write Cajun seasoning on there and put it up with the other seasonings. Awesome. So, save some time in the long run. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we've got our seasoning done. What we want to do is we're going to brown the meat. We're also going to cut up uh, the vegetables that we need to put in there. So who wants to do what? I'll brown have... the meat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'll be the nice guy and I'll do the onion. <laughs> so if you just want to shift over, I'll give you that. Thank you, sir. And a knife. Perfect. And I'll get this going for you over here. He's standing back. Okay. Um, I use this okay. and I've got a handy dandy gadget over here. Oh. This breaks up the meat. You just push down on it like that oh. and it'll break it up and it's okay. easier to brown. Okay. Um, we only need half of this and half of that. Okay. So I'll give you a knife to cut it open and then feel free to wash your hands when you get done getting it in there. Okay. Because I know you probably don't want all that all over you. All right, do we put any oil in the pan? Or we is won't this a need stick oil. Free? There'll this be, yeah, a... it's very good pan and that's probably going to have a lot of fat in it, so okay. it, it probably will not stick. 
should be good to go. The ground beef that we have is very lean. Okay. But the sausage, by nature of being sausage, uh, so I see that has a decent amount of fat. Went turkey route, which right. is good. Which is, which is why they say use lean ground beef instead of the, the cheaper stuff. Um, and if you're a hardcore Cajun, or you know Cajun cooking, and you're familiar with dirty rice, you know we are omitting a, not a key ingredient, but an ingredient that is found in a lot of dirty rice recipes, and that is chicken liver. Oh, I'm really? not a fan. I didn't know. I didn't know chicken liver. Right. Yep. So we are omitting that today. Okay. If you at home like chicken liver, by all means, include it in yours. Hey, I like this. We're gonna have to get this, Diane. <laughs> Yeah. Just a little it, it Buster great. Upper. Buster Upper. Buster Upper. Love it. My mom bought me gadgets almost every birthday, every Christmas for cooking. And oh, that's really? one of them. That's this is one, one of them. Oh, that's so. awesome. Okay, so I'll have to go look for this in the store. The recipe says to use either a, uh, a Dutch oven or a uh, thick bottomed pan, and you'll notice that that pan is neither. However, I like using a pan that is number one, very good nonstick, which that is, yes. mm -hmm. and also has a lot of surface area. Yes. Because it's more area to get hot, it's mm -hmm. more area for the ground beef to make contact with. Mm -hmm. It will actually brown quicker. If you use a, you can use a Dutch oven, which I have used in the past for this recipe. Mm -hmm. um, it just takes a little bit longer because you have to stir the ground beef and sausage uh, more frequently, if that's the proper way to say that. You're doing a fantastic job over there. Well, Green peppers are, are, are not the easiest thing to cut up. <laughs> They're so oddly shaped. Those are some of the keys to longevity and marriage. Good cooking. Yes. Mm -hmm. And just, we, we both we both can cook well. So Yeah. And <laughs> my wife can cook very well as well, but she does not enjoy it the same way I do. So I do the majority of it. And my wife makes some really good foods. I'm chopping up, we're doing one medium onion, we're doing one green onion, and then I'm also going to do a cup, it says a cup of celery, finely chopped, about the same size as everything else is what you wanna do. Smells good already. Yes. Doing a great job over there. It's kind of dirty in here, so <laughs> be careful. It's a good thing we got the cleaning crew. That's right. We clean, you relax. That is a perfect tagline. That's what it's all about. When we come into people's homes and you know, their house is clean and they give us the call at the end of the day. They're like, you guys are awesome. Yeah. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy my family. I don't have to worry about the stress of cleaning. So there's nothing like coming home to a home that's already been cleaned. Absolutely. There's just, yeah. I had, a, I had a pretty uh, substantial surgery about four years ago. And yeah. we had a friend who came in and cleaned our home before I came home. And her whole thing was, making a sterile environment basically for yeah. me to come home to and it was just the best feeling in the world coming home to a a nice smelling clean home yeah now as far as the the charity stuff goes mm -hmm. if someone 
feels like they may qualify for that. Uh, what are the qualifications and how do they go through that process? Um, they could just give us a call at 770-750-4645 um, and um, I basically just go over a short questionnaire with them. Um, they do have to be um, in cancer treatment at the time. Last year actually it was only for women and then this year it has been extended to all families Good. So um, that are battling cancer and so we came out and we you know, we take care of our fam our cancer patients and their families. So we come out for, um, we work off of a priority list. So whatever their, you know, top concerns are in their homes. Mm -hmm. And then it's all about them. It's all about serving our cancer yeah, patients we'll and families. Up. And we work off of a list and we just, you know, top three things that are important to them. And it's something different to everyone, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just changing the linens on the bed. Right. They don't have the energy to do it anymore and they want to come home from treatment and just get into bed. And so we're able to do that and it's really a blessing. That is fantastic. Yeah. We're getting our vegetables in here. And I am going to add just a little bit of olive oil to okay. this. It'll help uh, cook everything. Okay. It's almost like adding more surface area because mm -hmm. the oil will get hot through conduction or convection or one of those. I learned <laughs> that in things. like eighth grade. Like, how am I supposed to remember that now? <laughs> so it will get hot and then it will cause the vegetables to cook nice and evenly. Okay. All right, let's see what we got going on next. We will get this, uh, the garlic green, I mean the onion, green pepper, celery, going and we also are going to add our garlic at this point and just like always i use one of my daughter's baby forks okay because it strains out the liquid if you don't want the liquid if you want the liquid use a spoon okay but this is you know like a slotted spoon essentially yeah. now we want how much garlic we want in there that's three cloves so one of these is about a clove cajun cooking's got garlic in it so yes. you know you're more than me right here. That's right. And we have our Cajun seasoning. Uh, we only need one and a half teaspoons of the Cajun seasoning. So here's our teaspoon. There's one. You guys. You don't smell this, but it smells delicious. Yeah. <laughs> and there's about a half. A little more, you know. That looks great. Yeah, that that is, this is going to be really good. I can't wait. Yeah, I think you did better this time than with my dad, so I'm just going to have to tease him. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be eating good today. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so we're going to let the vegetables get a little softer uh, before we do anything else. Um, It'll take probably about another five minutes. Then we're going to add our rice, our broth, and uh, a couple bay leaves. All in one pot. All in one pot. Okay. And we're going to let it boil, come up to a boil, and then we're going to simmer it for about 20 to 25 minutes until okay. the rice is done. That's really going to let us know when the recipe is finished. Okay. Uh, as far as the rice, rice goes, we need uh, one and a half cups, I believe, if I remember that correctly. Yes, one and a half cups and we will need three and a half cups of our chicken broth. So uh, while we're waiting for this to soften, we'll get that ready. We'll add everything together and uh, let, it, let it simmer for, for a bit. So how did you guys meet? Tell us the love story. <laughs> well, Omar? <laughs> this must be a good one. I, I, got, I just got off of work. I used to work at a bank, so I had my shirt and tie on. I had my nice little Volkswagen uh, uh, GTI. Nice. And I was going to, uh, to my friend's house, uh, and Diana happened to be walking to her aunt's house. Mm -hmm. And so I was driving, she was walking, and um, I flagged her down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. But we met. We met several times, so that was okay. the first occasion. 
and she and I told her who I was and everything, and then she did her research. Mm -hmm. Her aunt happened to be. She happened, checked you out on Facebook. Yeah, no, no, that was before <laughs> Facebook. It was word of mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her aunt news. worked with one of my mother's best friends. Okay. So she got all the scoop on right, me. Right. Yeah. Right. And so. Uh, we That's how you had there. to do it back in the old days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> had to hire a private that. investigator. Yes. <laughs> stand outside their window. <laughs> yeah. I still like to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh huh. <laughs> So that's that's basically we met a couple times awesome. and uh, we started dating. From awesome. There. And where where was that? Originally in Austin, New York. Okay. It's a, it's a suburb of New York. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like Douglasville, but we're about a half hour from the Bronx, and we mm -hmm. had we had Metro North, which is the the train system, so we could go right. from Austin to Manhattan in about an hour. That's awesome. Yeah. So access to the world. Yeah. Bus system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We had that too. So they were running and. Yeah, if you didn't have a car. Yeah, yeah. But you, it's kind of like the, well, you needed a car, you know, to get around. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. well, we're almost ready to put the rice in, so uh, we can... Yeah, it's I getting can, nice and soft here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the broth, because we're going to need three and a half cups of the broth. Diane's got the, uh, the rice measured out. And once we add everything, we can mix it all up. Okay. That's one cup. Two cups. One and a half more. And if I really know, knew how to do my math, my kitchen math, I would probably know exactly how much of this to put <laughs> in there, but you know. This works. I ain't too small. Looks like there's probably four cups in there, so mm -hmm. use almost all of it. And then the rice, and if you would do the honors, mix that all up. We'll get it r up to a rolling boil. We have our dirty rice. Yes, we're gonna be eating good pretty soon. All right, we're getting this up to a boil. Turn it down to a simmer, 20, 25 minutes. Plate it up, pull our dessert out of the freezer. We're gonna be eating good. Sounds good. Keeping it dirty. <laughs> Lunch is served. We are ready to sample awesome. the dirty rice. <laughs> it looks great. And we've added our worms to our soil, our dirt. We're going to eat some dirt today. Which do you want to try first? The rice. All right, let's go. So I gave you a fork for the rice. Thank you. All right. Well done, well it's done. It's dirty. That's pretty good. <laughs> Got that little spice on the tail yeah, nice end too. Kick, nice little kick, nice little kick. Yeah. That's good stuff. That's a, that's a, you know, dirty rice is as much a meal as like chili. You know, mm -hmm. it's like a one pot meal. Mm -hmm. So. That's pretty Very good. good. Very good. Mm. And now we're going for the dessert. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave my worms for later. It's nice and cold. <laughs> yep. Dig, dig deep into yeah, the dirt. You got to dig down. Oh boy. Mm. Oh gosh, I'm making a mess. Mm. <laughs> it's dirty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I like that. Oh, there that's go. so good. Nice and refreshing. And it goes perfect with dirty rice because it sort of cools your mouth after <laughs> the spice. After the spice. Yeah. It's a palate cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We'll have to make this at home with the kids. Mm -hmm. Great okay. activity. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for being on. Omar, twice now. You're the only one who's ever been on twice. <laughs> yes. All right. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much for having us. I appreciate you. And again, if people uh, want to help out or they want to get in contact with you, maybe they qualify, mm -hmm. how can they get in touch? Um, you can go to our website, www.enjoylifecs.com, and there's some information on there, or you could give us a call at 770-750-4645. And that's what this show is all about, serving this kitchen with a cause. Getting involved with your community and helping, that's what these guys are doing. We'll see you next month. <laughs>